honestly, how have I not explored these areas before? Probably some of the best scenic views that I have seen. To continue my journey of capturing the island of Cyprus with my DJI Mini 2, my next stop was Drodos. Now I followed the same structure as before my last video where I was using Google Maps, recommendations from friends, and places that I have known since I was a kid, and adding those places into Google My Maps to geographically see where each location is, to be able to group them together to make the most efficient route possible. There's no way I would have been able to capture Drodos in just a few days. It's not like when you're in the city and you can just go five minutes down the road. There aren't main roads, there's a lot of twisty roads, so getting from place a to B is gonna take you a lot longer. So I, I spent a lot of fuel, like a lot, but it was worth it. And some of these places are very far away in remote areas. And most of the time I was on my own. So here is what I captured with my Mini 2. So day one, I went in the afternoon to the first stop recommended by the pool guy, which you can see all of Limassol. This was a great start as the weather was still moody with some low clouds from the day before, which was raining quite heavily. And it added a lot of drama to the photos and videos. There is this bench literally on the edge, which you can just chill, relax, and admire the city of Limassol, which is Cyprus's most developed city. Look at that view, man. Look at that view. That looks incredible. Oh my God, like getting to this location, I, I was in awe. The views alone trying to get there were epic. And the closer you get to it, you're literally in the middle of the forest. I've actually never been to Zephyros Bridge before. And this is the largest medieval bridge built in Cyprus. Again, this was a recommendation by the pool guy. Typically as I get there, it starts to rain. But after waiting a few moments, the cloud passes and I was able to send the drone up and get a glorious view of the Armenian Reservoir. So the next stop was Omodos. And I've actually been here before, but the route the GPS took me on, I've never actually been on this road before. And I happened to stumble across one of the most scenic routes that I have seen in Cyprus. Omodos is a small village and produces a lot of wine, hence the vineyards you can see from the drone shots. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't perfect, so didn't get the best footage as it was super windy and cloudy, but was awesome to experience. Now, following from the day before where the weather was moody and rainy, and not perfect for drone flying. And I was checking the weather every hour. When I did wake up, I was still contemplating whether to go or not. Holy shit. I literally just drove into a cloud again. Even if I go and the weather's bad, I can always come back. But let's just say this was probably the best decision I made. I was hesitant today whether I was gonna to come to the mountains because of the weather. And I said to myself, do you know what? Fuck it, let's go. Even if it's rainy, cloudy, and I can't fly the drone, I can still take some shots. Really twisty mountain roads. Then I found this spot. And had to travel all the way to Bafos first and then make my way into Cedar Valley to get to my first destination. This actually translates to like cliff of the female nutcase. Don't ask me why. Have any of you guys seen that film Herbie? No, that's just me. It has an altitude of 1,153 meters. This is definitely one of the best scenic roads you can take. Literally no one on the road. Lots of twists and turns and those views. All you can hear is the wind and some birds chirping. My next stop I went higher at an altitude of 1,450 meters to Throni, where you find the tomb of Mark Bishop Magarios III. Some say the church is tacky, but others like it. However, what everyone can agree on is the views from this place.
With a couple of hours to sunset and an hour's drive to my final destination, I made my way even higher to the highest point in Cyprus, Mount Olympus, at 1,952 meters. Honestly, the roads are so scenic here, I can't tell you how many times I stopped this day to take photos with my camera. I eventually got to the top and the temperature dropped from 25 degrees to 15 degrees. That big globe you see, is a long range radar that belongs to the British. Now I actually took a few days off before heading back up to Drodos as I wanted to avoid the weekend. It can get busy even in October. So if you are thinking of coming here on holiday, take that into consideration. Gagobedria was actually very straightforward to get to. The roads aren't as scenic as the routes I took for my previous days. It's a small town not far from the divided capital of Nicosia and has a view of the north part of Cyprus. Here you find some restaurants, cafes, wine tasting and nature trails which leads all the way to Ayos Yorgos de Stegis. On my return, I made my way to Drodos Botanical Gardens. It aims to be a research and educational recreational platform. At the same time, it is an important restoration part of the abandoned asbestos mine. Next day, which was like day five into the mountains, it was actually a really nice day and Following the GPS, it took me through the valley of Drodos, through Kuka. Gado and Bano Brothers is another wine village with some simple hiking trails to explore the nearby waterfalls Milomires and Caledonia. Gado Bladres is a bit small, so you will likely find Bano Bladres more built up with restaurants and coffee shops. There's plenty of vacation rentals here with lots of buildings located into the mountainside with stunning views. I got lucky with these sunset drone shots. Now day six was my final day in Drodos and technically this is a reshoot from day three when the weather was a bit moody. So here are some more sunny views of Omodos and Gilani. <laughs> completes my six day adventure into Drodos. There's obviously a lot of places that I was unable to visit, but I can cover these over the winter. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. I have some more areas of Cyprus to show you, so subscribe to see more of this beautiful island. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.